Okay, so we got a feature of a viewer here today. He's got some pretty good work by the looks of things. It's like mostly black work and bioorganic stuff. So right up my alley for sure. Mm. Seem to get a lot of this lately. So yeah. keep it coming. Let's have a look. Okay, <laughs> so it says, hello, Remy and Sarah. I wanted to share some Jenny? of the- Jenny? No. Remy and Jenny? <laughs> Jesus, no. Ephemeral uh, Jenny? <sighs> <laughs> Why did you share some of the work on my body to use in your tattoo reaction video? Working on full body coverage. Feel free to check my Instagram for more pictures mm, of all the work. Um, and then most of my work is done by name on IG Fluent Art Tattoo. Fluent Art Tattoo. Hmm, sure. Back right arm, armpit, and both hands. Um, Dr. D or Mr. Dist, left leg. I hate these names. Uh, and David uh, Jokura. Yeah. So that was the guy last week we did a feature. And yeah. He had like a bunch of work by him. So the and then that says stuff. neck. Uh, keep up the good work. Best regards. Yeah. Um, I actually just seen a, a piece by this artist in my feed this morning. So like circling the same drain you know i feel like i need to go give them a follow um i like this stuff i don't like it as much as what masakrov is doing and there there are also obviously other guys as well like uh immortal and there's there's a few others and i'm not going to name one of them because uh interestingly enough he blocked my account because he got tired of people saying he was ripping off my bodysuit oh my goodness <laughs> I, I will mention arcs tattoo is yes. another one that does that kind of stuff. Yeah, put out put out the little olive branch. It's funny <laughs> as fuck. I I mean I don't I don't understand bl like blocking me over that. Yeah. But it's whatever. Let's be friends. I I like that stuff more because it's got like a lot of red involved in it and at times quite a bit of green and blue, but uh, yeah, the, I understand the need for the black and gray version of this. It's also um, a softer overall look than. And it, there are some white highlights here, but the, the aforementioned artists prior, they, uh, they tend to use opaques and white and stuff mm -hmm. because- Mostly it's cover up. It's mostly cover up. Yeah. Usually those guys are dealing with uh, cover up. So this is not as good for that because black and gray shades don't cover things the same. Right. I try and explain this to people all the time here because we do cover ups every day. Yeah. Like every day. Every, there. Yeah, there's a lot of cover ups that happen in the shop. I actually so, think it's really cute. And for like a lot of people who don't understand, they just think it's black and gray yeah. when you're working with opaques. If they're done well, it should seem almost the same idea, <clears throat> but they don't look the same. I no. feel like they look more metallic. Yes. Or, or like in this stuff, they look more like, um, like sinewy or yes. like shiny and kind of like More a different tone than what human skin has right and this stuff it doesn't look quite as grisly to me with the black and gray shades for some reason hmm. but i do like this and they did get quite a bit of depth in here and this uh knee pit it's uh or knee ditch whatever you want to call it i like the tongue but i feel like because everything is similar shades it's hard for anything to show off. This is a similar complaint that I had with uh, the last guy who had work from uh, David Jorquara, or however you say his name. Um, <laughs> it's just everything is of a similar tone. And so it's hard for anything to be at the forefront. Like I want to imagine that tongue is coming out at me but it actually doesn't really appear to be. No, it's kind of pushed back. And I understand that this is, you know, it's going to change when it heals, but there's only so much texture you can get and depth play you can get with the same exact tonalities, mm -hmm. right? And so I always think that black and gray, you're limited. And if you were to make these eyes color and uh, put a little bit of color in that tongue, all of a sudden everything is different, right? Every mm -hmm. part of this is different if you do color with it. And this is obviously, I think, a different artist for this part. We say just... The one artist for his leg, back, right arm, armpit, left leg was done by Mr. Dist, so hmm. that must be this one here. Yeah. And uh, this is pretty good. I don't think it's as good as uh, the stuff that he has on the other leg, the David Jorcora or whatever. 
but it's decent. It's good stuff. Yeah, I like it. It's got good. Uh, th- there's see. nice um, contrast is the word I'm looking for. I just had to go look through and make sure I'm on point here. But yeah, that's the left leg. And uh, sometimes it's hard to tell in pictures because like cameras can invert things. Yes. Like I'll be talking about my right side in some videos and people will be like, that's your left side. Don't lol. And it's like, no, no, dummy. Cameras invert things. So yeah. It, it, when someone's talking about their right and their left, just trust them. They Unless probably know me. better than you I'm do. I'm dyslexic. Wow. Not everybody is. <laughs> but yeah, this one's got pretty good contrast, but um, it's got a bit of less texture in the nose in particular like that nose looks pretty soft compared mm-hmm. to the rest of them for some reason oh, it's a strange like the, choice the brightest point in the image for some reason yeah but with <clears> that <throat> it just looks a little forgotten about like for some reason the rest of him is very textured and his nose is not at all interesting so yeah. it just looks a little different to me i like how the neck is interwoven to the back yeah but I want to see more of the back. Do we get to see more of the back? Yeah. Okay, there you go. It's like a whole smorg of stuff back there. It's got this kind of disintegrated reality feel to it. I like the tentacles that are in the back there. Mm-hmm. Again, like, this is perfectly illustrating my prior point on the leg. With just, just some color highlights in here, it would make a world of difference. I see more and more the longer that I do these, and obviously working in the shop, People are just so fucking afraid of color for some reason. Like, they hate it. Like, in the minute you bring it up, people are like, oh, yeah, maybe a touch, but... Yeah. I don't know why that is the case. There's like, it's like 75% of people hate color, and then there's that weird 25% that like it. I think it's more like than it. 75% based so? on what we're booking in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's like black and gray everywhere. We're and not then, really the color shop, though. But, yeah, but even then, <laughs> like... The, the you could say that but like when you look at the scope of what's available in tattooing almost all of it is black and gray mm. like it just on a broad other than that it's like neo trad and trad i mean as an That's artist it. as an artist uh i think that black and gray is easier it is easier and it takes way less time to do yeah although some of this took quite a bit of time to do Oh, yes. There is actually quite a bit of complexity to some of this. When I say it's easier, I'm not trying to, like, minimize how tricky it can actually be. I just, like, as as a trying to tattoo myself, I get really pissed off at colors real quick. It's harder to saturate and Well, I also think that for you, you're not going to be getting as much practice with color when you have effectively less people asking for it, too. So when you do color, it's, like, now and then, whereas... You're working in black and gray all the time. Right. And that's just the way it is. I I think like the they've done some things to keep the tentacles apart from the background, but it took longer for me to see, particularly the tentacle parts down here where all the cubes are kind of dispersing or whatever. Mm-hmm. It took me longer to see that those tentacles were coming out of that than I would like. Yeah. Because me too. it's just so hard to pull and push things apart here when you only have so much tonality different right and yeah it's a really cool concept it's very different yeah but i just like it's so hard to tell things apart and it would be very easy to do if you had some like white or something in here or even if you don't like want on to do that color lower back yeah just to pull that hand apart from the the left side lower left like, there's just so much of the same, same happening mm-hmm. that it becomes a little indiscernible. And if we were to get too far from that, it would be completely impossible to tell what's going on. So, uh, I like the armpit, though. I, I'm Kudos to people who do their armpits always. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I like all of the different eyes. I think that that lady down here should be a cover-up by the looks of her. She's not that nice. It, close up on her she's definitely out of proportion with the rest of what's happening i would i would think that he got that at an earlier point in life and now he's getting much higher quality work mm-hmm. even the uh the blackout on his arm is very well done like we see it kind of all over the place in all of these pictures but it's a very smooth black and these are really well taken photos too like i've got everything i need i don't i definitely didn't need to rate his instagram Right. What I hate is the supercomposed, edited 
like black, black with the black round yeah. and like it's like so dark that you're like where am i in this void here we see he does have some color oh yeah so a little bit on that other arm there i would introduce more of it throughout in, throughout to pull things apart because like he has a very tonally similar suit now sure but like you have nothing that's showing off in my opinion like it's it's all kind of muting itself in its similar tonality and like imagine how cool a color i would be here or even like uh having like a the light source uh be color in those in those parts too right yeah i just like imagine if that eye is like red mm -hmm. in that leg piece right that would be way cooler i think I know I'm a big color fan, but like imagine if instead of black and gray, um, all of these little like veiny things, these textures here have like solid white parts, mm -hmm. right? To pop them off and it would just separate them from the same in here. If you put some opaques in there, it just changes the texture and it keeps it separate from the rest of the back. Right. Right, like, and there's a lot going on in here. So if you even just commit to gray shade, like gray, like actual gray in places, and I know in a lot of black and gray, using opaques is frowned upon, but in something like this, I feel like it could really do a lot to kind of keep things separate. So that would be my recommendation. I know there's gonna be someone who thinks that's a stupid idea, but there's just so much going on in here. It'd be nice yeah, to really see busy. it better. It'd be nice to be able to see what everything is a little easier. Right. Especially like, yeah, these butterflies, you could make those color, like whatever. These, it could just help so much to light this piece. Yeah, and, and just to make it like that much better. You see, yeah, this. Uh, I like the flow of this one. Bioorganic flows. On, well, it's, this work has really cool flow. Yeah. Like the flow on this is amazing. Like the way it wraps, like it feels like that's how that tissue would wrap on that foot. Like it's very easy for him to add the toe knuckles too, like to continue onto the toes because mm -hmm. of how it just edges off, right? So a lot of intelligent choices were made here. It's uh, I just I whenever I see this guy's work, this David Jorquar uh, or however you say it, it's like the idea is so vicious and the application is so soft right right it's it's like the most frightening subject matter done as soft and smooth as possible and uh you just want it to be a little more well you, i want it to feel grisly yeah. and sharp and hard right like but this this has the feel the execution of like a soft silk mm-hmm and that's great, and it's cool that you can do that, but it just doesn't have that look of like, this thing could rip your face off, mm -hmm. like some other of his contemporaries have. Yeah. And it's not a knock on execution, it's just stylistically, it's softer than what this stuff could be very easily. And it's just because it's just so, like I know what all of these shades look like, and they're all very, very kind of milky, right? I want harder black and sharper negative and uh, some color highlights. And this whole thing looks like a face ripper instead of, you know, you want to pet it. Right. right? It, it, it was the same problem with the last one we showed. And the subject matter is fucking awesome. And again, amazing execution. Just it's strange to have it be so tame. That's my opinion anyway. Mm-hmm.